here to say we've just delivered a home run we've given a billion dollars we've gotten the federal government fema to give a billion dollars one point one nine billion dollars for new york city hospitals and health care workers waiting on the government to pay their covid 19 bills after many many months of waiting the money is finally on its way but fema was very slow in embarrassing them fema came up with some crazy rules that said, well, if you built a new building, we'll reimburse you. But if you used your existing building, we weren't going to reimburse you. Officials say the money was hung up on an argument over what type of hospital facilities qualified for COVID reimbursements. Senator Chuck Schumer and Representative Richie Torres say FEMA originally didn't want to pay New York hospitals for patients treated and services done in those outside tents that were quickly handle an overwhelming number of sick New Yorkers in the early days of the pandemic. Bureaucratic reasoning of FEMA was out of touch with the reality that we as New Yorkers were experiencing on the ground. We all remember the images of overflowing emergency room and those refrigerated trucks full of dead bodies. $1.19 billion is a lot of money, but Senator Schumer and New York City leaders say it's no longer enough. With the Omicron variant spreading rapidly, hospital expenses and medical costs are skyrocketing again. FEMA, get ready. New York's going to be asking you for more money. We need it. How much money they need is approximately $111 million. That's how much officials say Omicron has cost New York City so far. And after having already fought one battle with FEMA over reimbursements, city leaders say they don't want to fight another. The delays we had were un un unacceptable, both on the public side and the private side, and we're not going to tolerate that again.